All right, what's up everybody? Sky here. We're going to be doing an unboxing of the Cyber Dimension for Goddesses Online Limited Edition. Um, so I waited to even see what was inside. That was just cardboard. But um, this is the OST and they sent me an email saying that... Um, I guess the OST inside of the actual limited edition got fucked up or something. Something happened, but I guess they started quality checking the audio, the CDs now, like the the OSTs, because of one of them was like, I guess they've been getting fucked up by whoever they go through, because my Cyber Dimension, I mean, yeah, my Super Dimension Neptune OST has some weird-ass scratching throughout the entire CD. The whole CD is like this weird ass scratching and I thought it was my rip. I thought it was my computer. I tried different CD drives and all kinds of shit and it's still on there. So it was actually burned like that. So I'm glad they started actually checking the OST before it gets shipped out to people. So they said this is the the one that's the good one and the one inside of the actual limited edition is bullshit. I'm actually gonna listen to it and see what happened. I bet you it's the same fucking Dumbass, <laughs> um, the same dumbass, uh, scratching shit. Whoever they're going through, they don't need to fuck with them because I'm mad about my Super Dimension Neptune OST. But here we go. Here is the box of it. I really like this art. This art is sick. So that's the bottom of it. Side, there's the top, nothing. Then here's the back. So what do we got in here? We have the Neptune USB figure, the Asgard art stand, the official art book, and the OST. So let me open this up real quick. And I would have opened this earlier, but you already know, I just got this today. So from now on, going forward, any... Um, limited editions I ordered from ID Factory slash Compile Heart. I won't get it until two days later because they started some new thing to where they don't ship it out until day of release now. So, uh, I was like, what the hell is that noise? <laughs> but yeah, that's me taking off the top. There's the game. Been waiting to play this forever. So, we'll open up this game real quick. I wonder if it has reversible art. This is the cutest Neptune USB figure ever. <laughs> so here's the game. It's the back. Oh, they actually start putting this crap on here again. Oh, PS4 Pro Enhanced. So that means it might run at 4K, dude. That's sick. I wasn't expecting this to have PS4 Pro support. This is the last game I would expect. Now I got to look up and see. Oh. Move that. Oh, this one doesn't have remote play. Yeah, as far as I can see, it doesn't have remote play. Yeah, that's the that's the um the art I want. That looks sick, dude. But there's the game. Let me go ahead and we'll switch out this uh Yeah, this art is sick, bro. Dude, I have too many games to play now. <laughs> like Mary Skelter has been taking off. Dude, that game is super good. If you have a Vita T or Vita or a Vita TV. Definitely get married still. It's fucking an amazing game, dude. But um I guess this is the Japanese art. Cause that's usually how it is. The North American box art is always sh shit, dude. Like Japanese everything is always better, but that's Japanese. That looks so good, dude. It's sick. And I, the, this has like online co-op, dude. So if it's for real, dog, if anybody has this game, bro, hit me up. I'll play online with y'all asses because I got like three friends that got a PS4 and none of them play the shit I play. So here's the Neptune USB figure. Don't really need to take, does it? I don't even understand how this works. Oh, okay. You take her head off to the USB is there. I wonder how many gigs it is. It's probably like a four gigabyte. That's pretty cool though. That art is pretty sick. It's pretty cool. All right. 
So here's the actual fucked up OST. <laughs> I'm gonna open this up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the extra one. Like, I don't know. I'll just keep it for nostalgia purposes. And I guess I'll stick that extra disc here inside of this OST. So here we go. And the art is completely, no, nah, the art's the same on both of them. I'm like, it looked different for a second. I don't know, this one looks, the, sh the, the print looks shittier on that one for some reason. Let's see, side by side. Neptune. Her hair looks darker on this one. So there looks like there was some kind of printing error, but whatever. And this is just a piece of, I guess that's like the CDs or something. See, so yep, it's just one disc. And we open this up. Um, what is this thing? Oh, uh, this is like the stand thing. Dude, that art on that thing is sick. So this is like a huge ass button, dude. It doesn't, what does it say on here? <laughs> it's a uh, goddesses of Asgard art stand, but this is like a, like, you know, those like little buttons that with the safety pins on the back. This is one of those, but it's like fucking massive. It's like four inches or some shit, but you can see it has like a little stand thing, but you can see right there, there's like silver because it's a button. This is sick, bro. <laughs> I really like this art though. Like I said before, dude, I've really became became become a huge fucking art buff. That shit, art is fucking sick, dude. <laughs> but uh, here's the art book. This is a nice size too. I actually like this. Um, so that's the back of it. I'm like, do they even print shit on the spines anymore? But yeah, they, what's it doing? So there it is. There's the front of the art book. We got some. Some art here. Nap, nap, yeah. Blonde, Vert, Uni. Like, I'm just surprised, like, fucking, <laughs> like, Nap Gear's a mage now, dude. That's sick. I really want to see what's up with, um, Ram and Ram. Like, they're like, like, Ram is like a ninja and shit. I seen somebody doing sick ninja combos on Twitter. I was like, oh, shit, dude, that's sick. <laughs> But I guess this is, I don't know anything about this form, so let's read together. An NPC that appears in Four Goddesses Online, she was created using Neptune's HDD form in real life. As the motif of both her physical form and her demeanor, her personality is quite collective. She can really be mature every once in a while. However, a glimpse of her Dixie side can be seen, can be seen. According to the story of Four Goddesses Online, she is one of the four goddesses who sealed away the Demon King long ago. Her weapon is one, is a one-handed sword, and she purifies enemies with her incredible powers. She is, of course, a goddess class character. So I guess this is a class. This goddess form is a class. Yeah, it says goddess. Okay. That's pretty cool. So um, these are new characters, I'm assuming. Bouquet. I've heard of her. And who is GM? She looks like, uh, hold up. These kind of look like, like Rom and Ram putting on a costume or something. Oh, shit. Compa back. Hey, bro, they can't ever not have Compa, bro. She's a fucking idiot. I love her. Oh, shit. They got Tamsoft in here. I thought, was it Tamsoft that made this game? Let me look on the back. Yeah, it is Tamsoft. Cool. So we got Tam Soft, we got Uzume. Uzume looks sick, dude. I don't know what what um class she's gonna be, but she looks sick. Oh man, Pishi, goddamn it! But Plutia, I don't really like Pishi. She's fucking annoying, dude. <laughs> they finally bought R four back, dude. I was tired. I went, what the fuck is up with Werchu? He looks weird as shit, dude. <laughs> These are some cool shits. Okay. I don't know why it took so long, like, bugging out over this art. <laughs> that shit is sick, dude. I 
Got some rough sketches here. All right, this, this is cool. And that's the art book. So yeah, that was me unboxing the Cyber Dimension Neptune 4 Goddesses Online Limited Edition. So uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.